Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. Shabbat shalom on this Shabbat, on this Day of Atonement, this Yom Kafar. We are so thankful to be able to go before the Most High and offer up prayers of repentance for our sins and the sins of our ancestors. I pray that you are holding on to faith and holding on to hope during these times. No matter what's going on outside, stick close to the Most High and He will see us through. I wanted to share a brief testimony today on this Yom Kafar, on this Day of Atonement. My daughter, who's 13 years old, has a relationship with the Most High, and I am so grateful for that. And she was spending time with the Most High on this new day. She has been excited to celebrate Yom Kafar, or the Day of Atonement, and she began her day with scripture reading. So she was reading about Messiah and his death and his burial and his resurrection. So after she got through reading in Matthew, Mati Yahu, she began to just spend time in the Most High's presence, praying prayers of repentance for her sins in accordance with Yom Kafar, the Day of Atonement. And she said that the Most High spoke to her and said to her, go wash your hands. And she said, Most High, I've already washed my hands. And he said, wash them again. So she said, okay. So she went to the bathroom and he said to her, wash your hands really well. Use five squirts of soap. So she got the five squirts of soap in her hand, added the water and began to wash and lather up her hands really well. And after she got done washing her hands and drying them, she said, the Most High spoke to her and said, In the same way that you have washed your hands and made them clean, I have washed you and made you clean by my Son and through my Son. You are forgiven of your sins when you repent for the things that you have done. And so as she was telling me about this, I thought to myself, what about the five squirts of soap? And then I was reminded that the number five is associated with grace, and that it is by the Most High's grace, by His tender mercies, that we are saved through His Son. But all of it begins with His mercy toward us and His decision to have grace upon His chosen. And that encourages me so much, brothers and sisters, because the Most High is saying the same thing to us. As we repent before the Most High, he washes us clean. He washes us clean by and through his son, the eternal lamb, the eternal sacrifice. That was a wonderful reminder on this new day of the Most High's faithfulness to forgive sin and to receive those who come before him humbly and repent. No matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, no matter what your condition no matter what your station, if you repent before the Most High, He will receive you and He will issue forth the atonement, the personal atonement. There's a lot going on in the world right now. There's lots of talk going on right now about the possibility of nuclear war. And as we search the scriptures, we know that it is coming. But we are not as those who have no hope, brothers and sisters. We are not to fear. The Most High spoke to me yesterday and he said that we are not to fear. That the things that are coming upon the earth are not happening to us. They're happening for us. And that as long as we remain washed in the blood of the Lamb, clean, having faith toward Messiah and obeying the Most High's commandments by and through his Ruach, HaKodesh, we have no need to fear. No need to fear. Don't fear the chamber rattling. Don't fear the threats of war. Don't fear the threats of famine. Don't fear any of it. If you have been listening to the Most High, you have been preparing as he has been instructing us to prepare. And if he has not instructed you to prepare, then he must be planning to provide for you through and by someone else. Fear not. Fear not, brothers and sisters. Well, thank you for joining me once again on the channel, brothers and sisters, and thank you for celebrating with me the Most High's faithfulness 
to forgive sins and to cleanse from all unrighteousness. On this day of atonement, may we remember the sins of our ancestors and may we never repeat them. May we remember the atoning sacrifice of Yahusha Hamashiach, our kinsman redeemer. May we remember that weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And yes, we are still in the land of captivity, but soon we will be going home. The Most High is hearing our prayers. Keep them going. Keep crying out. Keep crying out. Keep crying out. May the Most High Baruch can keep you, brothers and sisters. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and grant you shalom, peace, and peace, and more peace. As we spend this day afflicting our souls before the Most High and offering up prayers of repentance. And as we do this, the Most High is washing us clean by and through his Son. And he is protecting us from any and all harm. He is providing for our needs. He is covering us with his feathers. And we will walk in his sight, clean, cleared, atoned for, provided for, and being brought home back into the land of our ancestors. This is what we have to look forward to on this Day of Atonement. Shalom and Shalom. Thank you.